This is Blue Stain Pine. It's a natural effect that happens to coniferous trees in the springtime, and contrary to what you might have heard, it's not the type of fungus that rots wood, and it's definitely not caused by a beetle killing the tree. Well, sort of. So what's really happening here? How do we get from insects to blue lumber? To find out, we're gonna start our journey on the back of a beetle. Let's go. The truth about blue stained pine is that it comes from a special type of fungi. Well, that's it folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just kidding, don't go nowhere, hold on, hold on. These special fungi are the main reason why the pine gets its blue color. And it's important to note that the fungus doesn't affect the wood's integrity like other decaying fungus does. It's actually a pretty fascinating process. These fungi don't just appear, they are typically introduced to the tree by bark beetles, like the notorious mountain pine beetle. And the beetles burrow into the sapwood, which is the outer living portion of the pine tree, to lay their eggs, they carry the fungus with them. Once the fungal spores are inside, they germinate and spread their colorful like structures or hyphae throughout the cell structure of the wood. And you might wonder, can this happen before and after the tree is cut down? Kendall, you ever wonder if this happens before or after the tree is cut down? It's always after. It's always after? Yeah. Unless the tree were to die. No, oh, he's wrong. I'll show you. Well, Kendall's technically right. The tree needs to be alive in order to be infected. So it can happen at both stages, whether it's still standing or cut down. When it's standing, the fungi can begin to colonize a living tree that's stressed or attacked by beetles. And that's where they get that name, beetle kill pine. However, blue stain tends to grow more rapidly in trees that are either damaged or just recently cut down. These fungi will thrive in specific environmental conditions. They need oxygen, they need a wood moisture content above 30% and optimal temperatures around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's 25 degrees Celsius for the foreign friends. And any warm, humid weather after it was cut down will make it grow faster. spread from one piece of wood to another? Yes, if the conditions are right, it can spread between any type of coniferous wood, especially in the pine species, with their higher sap content. It seems like it's a little more prone to this fungus. That's why we commonly call it blue stain pine. And it also can be some species of spruce and fir. So what are the key takeaways from this? While it drastically affects the way it looks, it also makes it take on more moisture. So keep that in mind when using this wood in human areas. Like I said in the beginning of the video, unlike the decay fungi that causes rot and compromises strength, the blue stain fungi fortunately doesn't affect the structural integrity of the lumber. But proper storage is going to be super important here, guys. You want to make sure to keep this lumber dry with proper airflow between the boards before you build with it. But this isn't the first time we've highlighted a fancy pants species in one of our videos. And in this video right here, we take a look at soft maple. We show off the curly figure it produces, show you why it's one of my most favorite wood species to work with. See you there, brother and sister. What are you doing now? All right, Get to work, me. chop chop. Gets me to come out here to film him and then he stops the whole production. Well, if it didn't take you 20 minutes to get all your stuff together. Well, that's why, you put your makeup that's why on I want or what? 